Hi, my name's Anne, and I want to tell you about my sleepover here at Nationwide Children's Hospital. It wasn't a regular sleepover with friends. It was a sleepover in the sleep center, a place that helps kids when they are having trouble sleeping. I got settled in my very own sleep room right around the time it was starting to get dark outside. My mom was even allowed to stay with me and had her own place to sleep too. I got ready for bed and then the sleep technician came in to get started. Hey Ann, hi, my name's Amy. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Yes. First she put little sensors and discs on my head, chest, legs, and arms. Can you put that on the inside of your shirt for me? They sort of looked like stickers. Shirt. She even put them on parts of my face. So your first eye is going to go just like this, okay? This was called the hookup process. It didn't hurt, but there sure were a lot of them. All right, and one on this side, okay? It's how the sleep team measured my heartbeat, brain activity, breathing, and movement while I was sleeping. After the hookup process, it was time for bed. I thought it would be hard to sleep with all the sensors and belts, but I actually forgot about them after a few minutes and went right to sleep. The sleep team says it's pretty much what happens with most kids. I did have to go to the bathroom once in the night. That wasn't hard though. The technician just unplugged my hookups so I could walk to the restroom. Then it was back to sleep. All through the night, the sleep team gathered information about my sleep cycle. Good morning. In the morning, I woke up and the technician took off all the sensors and it was time to get dressed and go home. The sleep team told my mom that they are going to spend some time studying my data. Give me five. Thanks for staying, all right? And you have a good day? Because kids like me need plenty of sleep to stay healthy.